A couple of us at Africa Geographic Digimag had heard about an anti-poaching rhino demonstration that was taking place at the Cape Town Parliament buildings. So we decided to head through to meet some of the organizers and see what it was all about. Did you guys organize this one? Yeah, we've been organizing it with the Getaway magazine and the WWF as well, and Wildfact as well. So there's a few of us involved, yeah, trying to raise some awareness. Yeah, you, if, if the name is Rhino Africa, you don't you, you, uh, you feel the responsibility. No, we, we've started our own charity called Challenge for a Cause. Oh, yes. And it ran this year for the Save oh, really? the Rhino Trust. And so, where's yeah. that money going? That's going to the Save the Rhino Trust. And then what are they A couple of other charities. Well, they're uh, responsible for stopping the poaching of the desert adapted black rhino in Namibia. So has today been a success? Yes, most definitely. Good. The general message is getting out there. Sure. Yeah. No, the, the, the awareness has certainly been great. Yeah. yeah, which is the main thing. I enjoyed the demonstration and a relatively small crowd had created a surprisingly large buzz. It felt good to be able to add my voice, or rather Vovuzela, to the growing chorus of upset over these ruthless crimes taking place. With reports about senior officials, vets and game rangers involved in poaching syndicates that reach into the millions of dollars, I sincerely hope that these chants of Save the Rhino from a street corner on the tip of Africa will be heard.